I'm Brian Palmer, Architectural Controls and Networking Product Manager for ETC. This short video will be an overview of the Mosaic TPC Rio uh, remote input output module for the Tessera touchscreen controller. This new product is a dedicated interface that unlocks several different inputs and outputs that can be used with the touchscreen or Tessera controller uh, in a Mosaic system. It's really designed to simplify the installation and give you access to all the same input and output connections that you would have on a standard Mosaic show controller while still maintaining that touchscreen interface that's uh, necessary for some projects. And to simplify that installation, this piece of hardware will provide both a power and data connection over a single piece of Cat5 wiring between the TPC and this new TPC Rio piece of hardware. Uh, and then on the TPC Rio, there are connections for multiple different uh, inputs and outputs that I'm gonna cover for you here in just a moment. The most important of those is gonna be the DMX512 output. So since Tessera is powered using PoE or power over ethernet, and that is the only connection made to the unit is that ethernet cable, getting to a hardline DMX connection uh, previously required a network switch and a gateway of some sort to convert from an ethernet protocol like streaming ACN or ArtNet or the Kinet protocol from Color Kinetics to a DMX based protocol or DMX itself actually so that you could connect to a fixture that's designed for the use of DMX. And this is going to simplify that quite a bit. There are also connections on the TPC Rio so that you can connect to other Mosaic controllers um, and build your system larger and larger with uh, different channel capacities as needed. Sticking with the theme of what the Mosaic controllers have always been, uh, this is still a compact DIN rail mount unit and of course is solid state instant on a kind of fit and forget solution that doesn't require uh, any long-term maintenance of any kind. And then uh, programming of this unit, I'm going to cover at the very end. And that uh, that's quite simple and is pretty consistent with all of the other Mosaic controllers. Now, in order to use the TPC Rio, you do have to have a Mosaic Tessera or Mosaic TPC controller in your system. That product then connects over an Ethernet connection to the TPC Rio itself. Now, that's a standard Ethernet connection. It runs to a port that is labeled as TPC PoE on the on the Rio itself, and that's a direct connection. This does not run through an ethernet switch of any kind, just runs directly from this TPC Rio to your Tessera controller. And if your Mosaic system is only this single touchscreen controller, then you need no ethernet infrastructure of any kind, just that one piece of Cat5 that connects the two pieces of hardware together. Now this connection is gonna power up your Tessera controller, and it's also gonna be the data link back and forth between. Now there is a second ethernet connection on here that can pass through all of the uh, ethernet outputs from your Tessera controller, as well as access for your remote an management, web interface, ethernet triggering, and connecting to other Mosaic controllers to build the channel capacity and capabilities of your system. Now the power input on this device is different than any of the other DIN rail enclosures in the Mosaic family, and that's because this takes line voltage input. This is rated for 100 to 240 volts AC, 50 to 60 hertz. So it's a worldwide use in a single piece of hardware, but it is line voltage so that you can just install it in the back of an equipment rack if you have one, on a piece of DIN rail in an electrical or data closet uh, without needing any enclosure or anything. You can just connect up a cable, plug it into an existing outlet, or you could hardwire this into a connection depending on your installation needs. That mains voltage input means you don't need a separate power supply sitting next to the unit. It's all built right in. And it has status LEDs on the left side, which is consistent with the other Mosaic controllers that just identify what the inputs and outputs are doing and it helps aid in troubleshooting if there are any issues with the system. The hardline DMX output I talked about just a few moments ago is located on the bottom of the unit, supports up to a full universe of 512 channels, uh, which is the maximum capacity of the Tessera controller. So you can output all of that data as hardline DMX, or you can output some channels as hardline DMX and send the rest out over the Ethernet port we just identified uh, as EDMX-based protocols. Again, streaming ACN, ArtNet, Kinet, protocols like that. On the top of the unit, there are eight 
and inputs. Now these are tri-mode inputs, and that's consistent with the inputs that are on a MSC 1, 2, or 4. So these can be configured as contact closure inputs or digital inputs. And optionally, they can also be analog inputs so that you can deal with a voltage range, kind of use them as a fader input if necessary. On the bottom next to the DMX port, there is a dolly connection, and this will allow a full loop of dolly control uh, in conjunction with your TPC. So that's up to 64 devices with individual uh, ballast or driver control, also supports dolly groups, and the new dolly emergency uh, protocol so that you can deal with emergency-based ballast control um, or using the dolly protocol. So for those uh, 924 type control applications, uh, this is a great solution as well. Now those dolly channels do not count against your 512 channels. Um, that's consistent with the other Mosaic products. So you can do your full 512 channels as hardline DMX or ethernet DMX or in a combination and still get your dolly uh, loop as well. So an extra 64 devices. Now the last connection on the top is an RS-232 serial port for integration with other products as necessary. Uh, one bit to note here is while the Mosaic show controllers themselves support an RS-232 or 485 connection on this port, on the TPC Rio this is uh, only an RS-232 connection. So it's just really the only difference. So you can see here lots of inputs and outputs combined together. Having that dolly output on board means if you'd have some dolly control necessary, you don't need the separate uh, Rio D or Rio dolly module. It can be built right in when you're using that with your Tessera control. Uh, it's a pretty clean solution that offers lots of different connectivity. I was taking a quick look at how this is configured in software. Uh, you can see it's quite simple. This is a screenshot from the network um, portion of the designer software. And with the interfaces tab selected, you can see a checkbox that says configure TPC Rio. Now this will appear when you select the TPC in the controllers list that appears within the network view. And when you check that box in Mosaic Designer version 1.11.0 and later, that is the version required, it will expand what's in that right property editor window. And you can now see your input section at the top your serial port configuration right below that, and then at the bottom you can identify what interface you want the local dolly port to be. Of course, you can add additional Rio Ds onto the network if you need more than one loop and build that up as well, and that's why you're allowed to select the interface there. Um, everything else you see here, the Ethernet, the Paradigm, and the DMX input um, section are available on the controller at all times without selecting that box, since those are all Ethernet-based connectivity options. The configuration of all these things is identical to a standard Mosaic show controller. So select your input type, how you want it to work, or your serial port um, parameters and things like that. But very straightforward to configure, especially since it's so consistent with the other software. Now just to kind of give a practical example here of where the TPC Rio really becomes handy, if we look at a system that has some DMX output, and also has some other connectivity option, maybe some co couple contact closures uh, or a serial connection needed. To do that in the Mosaic family previously, you would need your Tessera controller if you needed the touchscreen control, a PoE switch to power that, that Tessera, a Net3 gateway to convert to DMX. You would need a power supply of some sort to power your PoE switch. And then you would also need a remote module. Um, in this case, I'm identifying a Rio IO so that you get your contact closures or your RS-232. And that adds up pretty quick. To do that in the Mosaic family now with the TPC Rio, you just need two pieces of hardware, your Tessera and the TPC Rio. So it does reduce cost uh, just a little bit to make it quite quite a lot easier to integrate the system. Certainly less installation costs because there's less pieces of hardware to account for as well. So it really just kind of cleans up the family. Now, if you have any questions about this product, of course you can contact ETC using your normal support um, options for technical services or your local sales office if you have questions or uh, pricing inquiries about the product. I appreciate you spending a few moments with us today learning about this new product. We hope you are as excited about it as we are.